Greetings! Welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris. Yesterday I got a new watch and it's this one. It's a Casio W96H model. And yeah, I'm a big fan of simple electronic watches. Uh, there's something about them that you know what, you, once you start wearing them, they, yeah, if one day you haven't got it on your hand, it feels like you're missing something really important. So yeah, uh, big fan of those watches. I've had this one with me for quite a while. It's the Casio W86 model. This went through a number of bands, number of straps, because they keep breaking and they broke one more time and yeah, this another watch was on sale. I got it for £10, so and it was pretty much the price of a strap. So yeah, I figured uh, I'll get a new watch and this one today I'm going to take apart and have a look what's inside. This is the fancy one with the electroluminescent backlight. So it'll be interesting how they are generating high voltage inside of this watch to get this backlight working and see how they engineer this into a small volume uh, for wearable and yeah just see what's inside I'm curious so I'm going to mount this in a vise and slowly start taking this apart of course I do not want this to be a one way uh, I want to put this back together because this watch is still working and it's got a bit of a sentimental value but yeah I'm curious to see what's inside and yeah I've got a reason to use my tiny precision screwdrivers let's find an appropriate Phillips head looks about right no that's too big okay perfect so on the back we've got four screws that should easily come out those are self tapping screws this is the W86 model I think it's a, the W81 is the most iconic watch and uh, this one actually before I fully take it apart it's got the, the same quirks as the original iconic Casio one with the one without electronic backlight so if you press all the buttons together if I just manage to do that there you go so all the entire screen displays it's a test for the LCD also um, when when you press and hold the left button here it will display Casio so if I press and hold it, there you go. Not many people know that, but yeah, a little Easter egg um, that you can get off out of your Casio watch. Let's continue with the unscrewing. Here we have the piezo element glued onto the back case of the of the watch. So this is what makes the beeping sounds. This is just a little piezo disc, and it makes contacts to the battery positive so the battery positive goes directly to one electrode and the other electrode because it's connected to the plate to the metal backing it connects over here to this tiny little spring which makes contact with with something on the circuit board we'll find out what if you wanted to disable the beeping on a watch uh, you could put a tiny bit of plastic tape against cello tape against one of those contacts and okay that is that going to come out yes so oops a really tiny spring so yeah put that aside I'm just going to use the backing plate as a holding spot for most parts that come out and we've got a Panasonic 2016 CR 2016 lithium battery so let's see if we can can we pry the whole thing out it seems like it is coming out and there is a gasket in here remove the gasket gently so we don't damage it those watches claim to be water resistance up resistant up to the 50 meter mark which is not really 50 meters but yeah it's a, it's a light water resistance it's technically you can wash your hands and it shouldn't cause any problems with it i've never took my watch off actually it was always on my hands whenever i was wet and yeah never never a problem so there we go okay there was a tiny piece of sticky tape strange 
yeah, a tiny piece of sticky tape on this side holding to the case over here mm, not sure if that's important at all but here we have the entire watch so maybe away with the vice and here is in in its whole glory Casio China it says number no zero jewels so no jewels I know well, it's electronic watch but yeah it's a jewel thing it's a watch thing I guess to in say how many jewels are there in the um, in the watch for the movement so the battery clip over here seems on those tabs it should come off so if I just gently push it apart away yep that comes off and here's the buttons so this whole thing all the way around has to come off and this is what you would do if you wanted to change a battery in this thing which actually I don't think it ever happens because those things on this one little CR20 uh, 2016 battery they run forever literally forever so the case fell apart into two pieces we have this plastic piece which also is the battery holder and this piece here makes the contact with the negative of the battery I need to make sure I'm staying in the shot of the camera because I'm quite zoomed in right now um, but yeah that's all there is with this so we can remove this part and here is the battery holder assembly and the back plastic case with this tiny little thing which is is it glued in no it's not that comes out as well this is the negative battery contact and we have a watch that's not displaying anything right now because we removed the battery 0112 so date code 2012 january possibly and we have a few quite large surface mount components those look like uh, 0805s so there's one two three four capacitors and one resistor what value is that I can't even see no 822 so it's uh, 8200 8.2k 8200 ohm and a little little sort uh, transistor this large thing over here is a is a coil or rather I think it could be a transformer yes it is a transformer because there are four connectors to it so yet again this is uh, an oscillator for this to produce high voltage that will drive the electroluminescent backlight oh, I would say high voltage but it doesn't need to be that high it's a few tens of volts 50 60 volts or so I think and that makes the backlight come on uh, when you engage backlight on this watch you can when you put it to your ear you can actually you can actually hear the squeaking noise of the oscillations a couple of kilohertz and yeah CW15 there is a mark in here just a stamp which looks like BR or BP some sort of quality check someone would have just stamped it that they've checked this and interesting the buttons which are embedded with here so they're embedded with the positive um, connected to the positive of the battery those are just a springy stainless steel clip that connects to the edge of the PCB which has been gold plated so it just basically touches onto the PCB material and this is the switch mechanism it's all mounted on a FR4 PCB there we go that comes out oh what is this yeah what is this okay it's a half a millimeter thick PCB very thin there's a surface mount diode as well also 0805 another tiny transistor and this element here which well I just don't know what it is it's yeah it has two connectors is this some sort of uh, coil another inductor yes it is because on the edge you can see 
Yeah, so it's a inductor, it's a funny package inductor. But still it is a, just an inductor. It for a moment I thought, is there a camera in my watch that has been spying me all along? The whole brain is chip on board, uh, potted with uh, with a resin. So this board I think has got options for different watches and I think the chip itself just based on some jumpers that are put in here so there is those two are just solder links like over here and based on those depending which ones are closed I think that this uh, enables different functions in the watch itself it will be interesting to mess about with it there is a pattern like um, there would be for a switch so what is that about for a push button? I'm not sure, but it will be very difficult to actually access that uh, while while the watch is assembled. Oh, maybe not. This is actually in the front. Uh, there is a hole for this. Okay, let's try to engage this button and see what happens. But before we get to it, uh, let's see the screen. So here is the, the screen itself and how is it being held? If I just pull it backwards a little bit, this should, yeah, the screen will pop out. Here is the little conductive zebra strip that makes the contact between the LCD and the gold plated contacts on the board. And there are two gold, oh, this came out, so that was just between the screen and the electroluminescent backlight. And this is the little board that makes the actual backlight and oops, one spring popped out. Yeah, it, it seems like there are two silver coated contacts on the board here and this side and the voltage is applied against those and this entire thing glows with, uh, with the iconic blue color. That's all there is in a watch really. So let's see if we can get any additional features. I wonder where could I purchase this material on its own like a large sheet because this stuff you can freely cut and do whatever you please with it. So it would be a cool thing you can you could make quite a lot from it just you know use your creativity and you can cut out shapes that would emit light. I suspect that the other solder points on the watch itself in the front uh, they're making so they can use the same board and perhaps a few variations of the front display to give it different functions. Like some of them would have a, another analog maybe thing and that basically there is just one chip and different jumpers trigger a different program to run. Um, so it's yeah just simpler and easier. The time is off by a few minutes. So probably just uh, lost a few minutes for the time where the battery was out. Uh, but it didn't reset. So let's see this button. What does it do? Let's find a small flathead screwdriver. Oh, that's a backlight button. So this is the same as connecting this one. No, not this one. This one? Yeah. So it's the same as connecting this. It basically pulls that side to uh, to the positive and engages the oscillator to generate high voltage. So yeah this is for a different watch model. One of them could have a button on the front to engage the backlight mod mode and yeah that's all there is to it. So that's the Casio watch. For this clip if you want to just change the battery you don't have to take the whole thing apart. All you need to do is put a tiny screwdriver in there and pop it open like so and this way you can you know squeeze the battery out that way and replace it with a new one if you have to which is very unlikely with those watches it crossed my mind for a moment to see if I could measure the current draw of this um, but uh, if, yeah I think I'm not going to attempt this because I don't think I've got anything um, sensitive enough to measure such a small current draw this uh, probably yeah it's in beyond the equipment that I have to measure such a small current 
because they do have last on one battery for years and years. Having said that, I think that's going to be it uh, for this quick little video teardown fueled by curiosity. So, hope you enjoyed it and please do subscribe for more random electronics related stuff. For today, that's it. So, take care.